It's all about the moment. It's all about dealing in the moment. The moment is right now for all of us to take our game to that next level. Turn your magic on. Let me see it say everything you want to dream away. We will have one of our best days today, man. I feel it. Okay, come six o'clock, let's celebrate here. We are legends every day. That's what she told me. I feel my heart beating. I feel my heart underneath my skin. I feel my heart beating. You make me feel like I'm alive again. One, two, three, four. Wants to throw it here, looking deep for Watson, who makes the catch. He's going to score, touchdown, Ben. Solomon, he has space. First down yardage. Solomon hurdles the defender, reaches for the pylon, and he's got it. And that is an easy Ben Quaker touchdown. Touchdown! A two-yard strike from Carterson and the Quakers have the lead. Intercepted, and Fecchio, 10, 5, touchdown! Here comes Lee! Down the sideline, Mason Williams picks it off at the 40. <laughs> what a pick! Corberson flips it back to the left. It's Nick Davis. He's wide open. Nick Davis is going to score. Ray Priori gets the Gatorade bath because for the second straight year, the Penn Quakers are going to be Ivy League champions. Two years in a row, back to back. He doesn't get any best man. We spoke all week long about being physical, a physical team. Nobody, nobody that you play will ever just roll over and die on you. They're not going to do it, okay? They're going to give it, they're going to give it, they're going to give it. Okay, and you guys got to keep on throwing the shots, throwing the shots. Bill, take some shots, okay? Then get right back in the ring and keep on fighting for four quarters. When it seems the bleakest, you grab hold, grab tight, remember how you've been coached and what you guys need to do to get the job of accomplished, okay? We will have one of our best days today, man, I feel it. I really, really do feel it. Okay, come six o'clock, let's celebrate here. Bring it on in, let's go. Let's go. All together, win together, family on three. One, two, three. The 2016 Van Quakers made an Ivy leading in school record six appearances on national television. Under the lights, in front of family, fans, and alumni, the Quakers traveled to Dartmouth to begin their Ivy title defense Live around the world on NBC Sports Network. Justin Santorgeson looking deep to the left, and that is an easy Penn Quaker touchdown. Christian Pearson makes it 6 0. Keeps it up the middle. Trey Sullivan, touchdown, Penn. Sometimes, Paul, it's not that complicated. The guys in white are pushing the guys in green around. Look at that hole. Snap goes back to Zion Run, looking for the corner. Jets forward and crosses the goal line. Touchdown. Snap, handoff, Solomon, easy drive into the end zone, touchdown, pin. 27 to 3, and there's still seven minutes left in the second quarter. Throwing deep down the sideline, Mason Williams picks it off at the 40. <laughs> what a pick! He throws his arms out, he's soaring like a jet towards the far side. Victory today over the Dartmouth Big Green. 1-0 in the Ivy League as they charge towards that 7-0 mark. After opening Ivy League play with a dominating win over Dartmouth, the Red and Blue closed out their non-conference schedule versus Central Connecticut. While the offense continued to churn out points, it was a dominant defense that stole the show. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Fumble on the field, and it's picked up by Quarterman. Quarterman down to the 35. Golgala pumps, and he is pulverized. Lou Vecchio having himself a Saturday at Franklin Field. Lofton gobbled up, chewed up, and spit out by Big Lou again. Here comes Lee, bulldozes Golgala. The 28-16 victory over Central Connecticut kept the momentum going for Penn. 
the Quakers return to Ivy League play the following week, hosting Columbia at the iconic Franklin Field. The Lions had no answer for all Ivy running back Trey Solomon, who showed off his entire skill set. On fourth and goal, handoff Solomon, left side, he's in, touchdown Quaker! Trey Solomon, off the left side, barrels his way in for six. Wildcat formation, Solomon takes it, runs to the right, has a hole, first down and more! Solomon turns forward, bounces off a tackle, look out, Trey Solomon! Solomon got room, 30, 25, down the right sideline, hurdles the man at the 15, down to the 10, still on his feet, down to the seven yard line. Trey Solomon. Solomon rolling right, he wants to throw. He's got a man wide open, the catch is made at the five into the end zone, touchdown Countryman. Trey Solomon, a touchdown pass to Cam Countryman. The cherry on the top of the Sunday, 34-10. Trey Solomon's near 200 yards of total offense included both rushing and passing touchdowns earned him the Ivy League Player of the Week. The 35-10 win over Columbia got the attention from the rest of the ancient eight. And their crushing victory the following week over Yale proved their hunger to defend the title has not subsided. Ferguson in the gun, floats it into the right side. He's got Watson, who's got a touchdown, Quakers. That's just professional execution. Play action, fires down the middle for Watson, who's got it to 15, steps out of the tackle and into the end zone, touchdown. You gotta be kidding me. Torgerson on the money to Justin Watson, second time they've connected tonight. On first down, Torgerson back to throw. Has some pressure, firing it down the middle. Watson is wide open at the five yard line. He stumbles, dives towards the end zone. He's in, touchdown, Quakers. The third touchdown pass from Torgerson to Watson. The fourth touchdown pass for Torgerson overall. The route is on here in New Haven, 34 nothing 10. Justin's a stud and he's going to be open all the time. Even if they double cover him, he, uh, he knows how to get open. We took advantage of what they were not doing, and then that was up the middle in a lot of the pass games. We took advantage of the safety. So great execution all the way from the blocking, throwing, catching. Only two games remained when Penn hosted Harvard. The Quakers were a game behind Crimson. A win for Harvard would lock up the Ivy League title, thus eliminating Penn. But under the lights, with emotions running high, Penn's all Ivy first teamers shined the brightest. Smith in the backfield, Vivian is gonna flip it out. Smith and it's intercepted! It's Vecchio! 15, 10, 5, touchdown! The Quaker defense strikes and they give the Penn Quakers a 6-3 lead. So fourth and three. Quakers lift off the edge. Dubiano with gas yeah. fires left side intercepted. It's intercepted at the 25. It's Mason Williams again. The third interception of Viviano here in this first half. He only had five coming into tonight. Three wide receiver, slot right. Torgerson play action. Torgerson going right side. He's got a man. It's Pearson in stride at the 20. Down the right sideline. 10 5 Touchdown! Great call by John Reagan, the offensive coordinator. 10.30 to play in the third quarter. Penn leads Harvard 14 to three. Take a look and a listen. With title hopes hanging in the balance, the underclassmen were not going to let the class of 2017 graduate without two rings on their hand. The Penn defense limited the Crimson offense to just 14 points. Setting the stage for Torgerson and the offense in the fourth, tied at 14, with 323 left from their own 25, Torgerson took the red and blue down the field and rewrote the Penn record books at the same time. First and goal from the two. Hold on, folks. 18 seconds left. We're tied at 14. Torgerson in the gun, takes the snap, fires left side, touchdown! Justin Watson! A touchdown catch! 15 seconds left, a two-yard strike from Harderson and the Quakers have the lead. You want to talk about a clutch drive when it matters the most? His last game here at Franklin Field and sets a school record with his 51st passing touchdown. Going into that drive, we were just going to execute our game plan the best as possible. Um, there was never a moment where any of us were nervous or, you know, 
didn't think that things were going to go the way we wanted to. Uh, you know, we worked too hard this season for you know us to go to overtime in that game. So next week you go to Cornell, you have a chance to go two for two as a head coach in Ivy League titles. What's going to be your message to the team this week? Well, my message ready to the kids was be smart, be safe tonight. We'll get to work tomorrow and bring on the big red in a week from now. It's got to happen, boys. It's got to happen. You got to want it. They're going to give us their best. They're going to give it to us. They ain't got nothing to lose. Like nothing else matters. This matters. You matter. The boy next to you matters. Play like it. Emotion, man. That's what this game is all about. Emotion. I'd walk with the lions And I'd swim with the sharks And I'd go through fire And run through in the dark I'd cross the oceans And I'd walk for miles Be wild and devotion Nothing that I wouldn't do End zone, Pearson, touchdown, Quakers. Play action, they go into the end zone, it's intercepted! Mason Williams with the interception! Torgerson flips it back to the left, it's Nick Davis! He's wide open! Nick Davis is gonna score! Banks floats it, and it's intercepted at the 26 yard line! The Quakers get it right back! They run the option right, Torgerson keeps it, he's in! Touchdown, Quakers! And that is the exclamation point. Penn now leading 41 to 20. Quakers are going to go into victory formation. Ray Priori gets the Gatorade bath because for the second straight year, the Penn Quakers are going to be Ivy League champions. Guys, simply, simply outstanding year. So proud of everybody in this group. It's absolutely un unbelievable. Two years in a row, back to back. It doesn't get any better than that. You play it as a Hell. team, you believe in each other, right? Now God bless you guys all. Love you. Whoa! Whoa! They are a team with a storied past that keeps adding chapters to their memoirs and rings to their fingers. For more than three decades, the Penn Quakers are the benchmark in Ivy League football. Penn Football, champion your life.